Okay, folks. I'm shooting this on the RX100 Mark V. This is uh, my 55 inch uh, 4K screen. It's a Q OLED S95B. So here's a video of me. If I can zoom. So this is at f2.8. So anyway, that, this is the shot I'm going to try to show. So this is from this sensor, this camera that I'm holding. Now I'm going to zoom out and show you that I have right here an APS-C camera, the Z50. And I'm going to this is the LCD screen, so I'm trying to get it focused. Why is it not focusing? Okay. Well, see it focus there. Oh, it might be too close. I'm trying to get in there. Yeah, it's not letting me. So anyway, and I'm going to compare it to a full frame Sony A7C. Let's see if I can zoom in on the screen. So see, looking at the screen, it's all blurry. Okay, so I have to bring it back a little bit. That's kind of clear right there. Same thing with the uh, Z50. And just to show you, so A7C is uh, a full frame camera compared to the Z50. Now the camera size bodies A7C is actually smaller but as you can see there's both cameras. Now I got a cage on the uh, Z50. They're both uh, battery operated. One has an HDMI cable out. One uh, doesn't. But what I'm going to do is, on this test, I'm going to do the uh, internal recording on both of them, and then we're going to compare the videos. And that's what this is about. Okay, so you just saw an intro of what I'm doing. I'm using the RX100 Mark V just for the intro. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a split screen using QuickTime Player, uh, using the Ecamm Live. And on the left will be the Sony A7C full frame camera. And on the right of the split screen will be the Nikon uh, Z50. And that's an APS-C camera. And uh, I won't mark it or anything. And uh, you're going to see me moving the uh, cursor and stuff with uh, starting the video. But uh, I'll try to match it as much as possible. And also the fact that uh, I have one of the videos uh, muted. So you can see it both at the same time. So here's the video. Now I'm going to cut it right at the middle because when I start going across the screen and I turn on the camera I'll show you what the LCD screens look like so uh, here's the uh, um, kind of like collage of videos all right I think they're both recording yep you're watching a video so I got the 28 to 75 f 2.8 uh, Nikkor Z lens at 2.8 and it's at uh, maybe 45 millimeters so this right here and you know the screen disappeared so 
I'm doing it at the same time with the Z50 and the A7C and I'm showing different parts of my studio and this is an old video but as you can see um, right now uh, I'll have to uh, get in front of the camera unfortunately Turn on uh, my Mark V again, hit record, okay, so I'm trying to get where you can see, alright, so you see, okay, so I'm trying to get where you can see, alright, so you see, you can see the reflection of the Z50 and it's just a box that's just going around but I'm in pretty much focus but if I go to the A7C so if I'm not looking at the camera there's a square box over the face and I'm waiting for it to come back there it is okay so on the A7C it's a little square on my eye it's a square box on the Z50. Yeah, there you go. That's a better one. So you see, better shot, A7C. So you can see a square over the face and then a little box over the eye. That's A7C. Z50, it's just mouth, nose, eyes. There is a box around the head too. But I may have a different setting where I don't have the eye. I don't know. Anyhow, that's the test. Around, well, I'm in pretty much focus. But if I go to the A7C, so if I'm not looking at the camera, there's a square box over the face and I'm waiting for it to come back there it is okay so on the A7C it's a little square on my eye it's a square box on the Z50 yeah there you go that's a better one so you see better shot A7C so you can see a square over the face and then a little box over the eye that's A7C Z50 it's just mouth nose eyes there is a box around the head too but I may have a different setting where I don't have the eye I don't know anyhow that's the test So as you see, I turned off the, uh, the camera. The uh, Mark V does not have a good battery life on it, okay? And uh, I was looking to get another point and shoot camera, but then I was thinking, well, maybe I should just get the new iPhone 14. But uh, it's still up in the air. Uh, what you'll see is the color almost matches it looks i don't know um as you're looking at uh i'm showing around the studio on one of my videos um basically they're both clear now, I do have the F1.8 85mm on the A7C, but it's at an F2.8, 1 60th of the shutter speed. ISO is automatic, but it's at 100. Whereas on the APS-C Z50, I got 1 60th, F2.8, but the ISO is at 140, 200, 250. So, 
the ISO moves more on the Nikon than it does on the Sony. But as you can see, the uh, pictures do match. I am recording. So I went to 125 on the Nikon. And it's still at 1 60th on the uh, Sony A7C. So what I'm looking at is how is the picture quality? So I am maybe a little bit underneath with the A7C on the uh, monitor. There we go. Let me move it up a little bit. So you see uh, on the... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do it. It's not cooperating. There we go. Yeah, still not cooperating. Okay, that's better. So I'm showing the focusing on this uh, video right now. But uh, just by doing that, I went to 3.2 aperture. I'm still at 2.8 on the Nikon. So the 3.2 is on the Sony. Um, I do notice a little bit more bluish tint on the A7C. But actually the colors are close enough. Okay. And I see a little focusing problem. So let me do the... Uh, uh, come on. Focus, focus. There we go. It's having a hard time. Come on, Sony A7C. So uh, that's the best I can do right now. So this is just a quick video on comparing both video on the uh, picture quality and also on the uh, color. I want to see if the color matches in a way. So uh, without further ado, let's go to... Uh, the results okay so I don't know if you noticed but on the right hand side of this which is the uh, Nikon Z50 you could see a little fan or a little banding on the APS-C you don't see it on the uh, I should say the Z50 on the Sony A7C, you don't see it, but you notice that's a little bit darker kind of cue. So basically, there's a, a more bluish tinge, but it seems that the colors aren't as bright as that on the Z50. And I am using an 85 millimeter, which you'll look at the. Uh, quick time all right so this is an 85 millimeter this was a 24 millimeter and um, I don't know um, some parts the I like the colors better on the Z50 but I like the clarity of the Sony but it did have a focusing problem but that's because I probably moved the uh, camera and some of the uh, focusing uh, settings while I was moving the tripod to match the screen but with an 85 millimeter you'll notice that on the left hand side if I move this back my uh, face was larger let me get a better shot so that was at 243 move this at 243 also so as you can see uh, on the colors, some like the Sony better than Nikon, but the 85 millimeter I look bigger. On the uh, 24 millimeter, of course, I'm a little bit smaller. But uh, both cameras are basically covering the whole screen, and uh, for gaming purposes, which I'll do in a part two. You can take a look to see which one you like better. Uh, through the A7C or through the Z50. So I'll go back to... 
over here to the camera. There I am. And let me get on the camera itself. So hopefully this is recording. Oh, it's the moon. That's why it's so dark. A uh, little walk around. Now I can move this. So I look sharper on my left screen right here. But on the right ZFC, I look totally different because of the lights back there. But everything, I, as you can see, my whole face is lit up pretty much. So I got a lot of light in the room. So here's back to the right. Here's the zoom. So I'll move that down. And then, uh, of course, that's what I've been showing you. And this is from the Z50, okay? So my camera's a little bit off. And the nice thing is, I can move it a little bit right there. That's a little bit better. But anyhow, that's on the zoom. And let me do this. There you go. That's what I should have it on. You know, right there. Now I can move it back. So I messed up on that. Sorry. Uh, but come on. That's good. We'll leave it right there. And uh, tell me down in the comments below how you like the color content and stuff. Uh, I could have matched it 85, 85, but with the uh, crop factor and stuff, try to match it as close as possible. But do you see any difference? Would you rather have a full frame recording stuff? or an APSC, and that's what this video is about. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for any more upcoming videos, and uh, as I said, any questions, just write in the comments below. Part two, I'm gonna be doing gaming, it, uh, I'll be using the A7C compared to the Z50. And then you can tell me which one you like better. So, uh, as always, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.